I think it went well. Um, I'm here supporting just Gary uh, Krepp and his arguments. I hope the court will remand at least the whole case, if not our case, so that uh, an actual trial could take place. I'm not sure. I hope they rule in our favor. Uh, this the significant is this is the first argument in the Court of Appeals uh, any place in the country. I had uh, two arguments scheduled, one in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals in Philadelphia and one in the D.C. Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C., and they were scheduled in one week before each argument they were canceled. Uh, so this is uh, unique here and hopefully uh, the court is taking some uh, interest in it and hopefully it'll be uh, to the uh, interest of the public at large. And that, that's what's important here and that's why I think the case should be remanded uh, and a trial on the issue sh should come forth. The document that was released raised a lot of questions, just on the face of it. And then people have talked about there's layers on it and everything else. And I think it's a phony because my position is I have on our website, which is ObamaCrimes.com, the uh, statement in Swahili by his step-grandmother, Sarah Obama, who states that she was in the hospital in Mabasa, Kenya, August 4, 1961, when Obama was born. That's pretty tough to overcome. And the uh, recording was made by two ministers, one in Pennsylvania, one sitting next to her at her home uh, over in Kenya. I've understood okay. that some people have butchered it and taken it and changed it around. The original one on our service uh, was correct and was taken with uh, complete honesty by these uh, two ministers. I'm doing this for the American public. I'm doing this for the 308 million people in the country who deserve to know the truth. I'm doing this for our forefathers. And I'm doing this for the men and women who have served our country. 1.6 million have died defending our Constitution. Another 1.6 million have been injured. And the millions of others who continue to serve our country. Um, and I hope that uh, we, we deserve the truth. I'm, I'm still hoping. I, I hope it will happen. And I'm going to continue my efforts. I will not stop my efforts until Obama releases all of his records. Uh, he sealed all his records the first day or second day in office as president, and also until all his adoption records and uh, immigration records coming back at age 10 through Hawaii, to Hawaii are released, because I think they'll show that he's never legally changed his name, that his name's Barry Sotoro, that he's not natural born, he's not naturalized, his status right now is an illegal alien, and therefore he should not be president, and his term as a U.S. Senator from Illinois was fraud. Well, originally the uh, people in Hawaii made a statement that they saw the original birth certificate. They never said it was from Hawaii. Uh, that's significant if you go back to Fukina when her first statement came out. Um, I think that the uh, birth certificate changes. Um, I don't know where it would be at, you know, back then in that time, but I know it would change his status. If he was born in Hawaii, once he was adopted in Indonesia, his status would change from natural born to naturalized if he came back through immigration. But we don't think he did that, so I think he's probably an illegal alien. Well, he went to, uh, Obama went to the UN, I think, over the uh, Arizona statute. And uh, I think that just was an example, because I think Obama's an illegal alien. He went to the United Nations to a question of law in, the, in our country. It doesn't make sense. It's just like Obama going around the world apologizing for the actions of the United States. It's like Obama bowing down to a Saudi king, bowing down to the emperor from Japan, and bowing down to the leader of China. Um, no other president has done this, and uh, it just shows that his interests are not the United States of America. Philip J. Berg, PHI, 1LIP, J. Initial Berg, BERG, Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philadelphia. My office is located halfway between Philadelphia, where our nation was born, and Valley Forge, where our battle of freedom was won.